Hi there, my name is Simon Tumier. I'm from footstomping.com and this is the first lesson in our Learn the Bagpipes Beginners course on the Practice Chanter. I don't know if you know this, but all bagpipers start out on the bagpipe chanter, the Practice Chanter. You can't do anything. If you go straight to the pipes, you're going to really struggle. So this is the way forward. In this five day course, we're going to teach you how to play a scale. Now this scale is the basis of everything you can do on the bagpipes. All the ornamentation, the grace notes and the torlues and the grips all come from the scale. I mean, <clears throat> this is what you can, you could sound like. <laughs> all recognise that as Scotland the Brave. It's a great tune, a great tune for marching on the pipes and one I've marched along many streets to in my time. In order to get started with this, the first thing we're just going to look at in this lesson is how you hold the chanter. So if you want to look at my fingers, as you can see, my fingers, the six fingers I've got down are straight. They're very straight. When you actually look at the chanter, you'll see the, all the holes down here. Now, maybe instinctively, you might want to play like this. Well, this is wrong. You don't want to play because you don't cover the notes. Because when you move to the big bagpipes, the holes are really big and your tips just don't cover them. So what you do is you, play, you, press, press your, you put your fingers out straight like that. And you can see they're like they've got matchsticks on them. And I'm actually, with the, the chanter, I, I'm, these bits here, that's what I'm putting over the holes. You can see that's, how, that's where the holes are. And it's really, really important to keep your fingers straight. If you look at the back of the chanter, <coughs> this thumb here goes over the hole. As you can see here, this thumb, the bottom thumb, is just balancing your right hand. So... Left hand at the top, right hand at the bottom, straight fingers. Your pinky also covers this hole at the bottom, so make sure that your fingers are not too far along. If your fingers are right here, it's quite difficult to get to this bottom hole. So, there you go. First lesson of how to hold the chanter. Now remember, if you need anything bagpipe related, go to footstomping.com where we have lots of bagpipe CDs and books and tutors. And we'll see you in lesson two.